Fun video today. We had this stupid idea to go on Amazon, find some of the cheapest broadheads and the, the, the weirdest broadheads that we could find. We got them in these boxes. They come in these weird boxes. I don't know, this is like, this is kind of wild. Look at this. You buy a dozen broadheads. I forget how much these was. These are like $20. You get a dozen broadheads. And disclaimer, these are, I, I don't know how good or how bad these are gonna be. Obviously it's weird that they come in this little baggie like they do. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, this is definitely probably made in, uh, you know, some knockoff factory somewhere overseas. I'm um, going off my intuition. It looks like that, yep, that spins off. So some sort of collar system, these blades come off like that. Those blades are thin also. Let's do, I bet we could do this, hold on. <laughs> My curiosity is getting the best of me here. So, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's how <laughs> easy that was to bend, dude. I bet I could bend this, yeah. I can bend this with my hand. So, strength of the blades, um, not awesome. Sharp sharpness of the blades, we, we can find that out too. Let me get a piece of paper. Let's see. Okay, not terrible at all, actually. Pretty sharp. Probably, let's see. Let's compare. I have some Grim Reapers right here. Let's see how sharp these bad boys are. Huh, hold on. I might have shot these before. Okay, I think this is a new one. It's cutting decent, but huh. honestly, not quite as good as this, this Chinese one. And I think it's because of how thin it is, if I had to guess, but pretty sharp. Sharpness isn't bad, durability is just terrible. This is the Feral. Um, <laughs> really not, not great at all either. I bet I could just bend this guy too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this is so bad. Oh wow, I do not recommend using these broadheads for anything. <laughs> and I have a dozen of them now, but we're gonna, we're gonna shoot them still a little bit later and see what's up. I mean, obviously this is like a grim reaper, way better. Everything is probably way better than that. Right? This box, this box is kind of fun. So I, I, I got some more in here. Oh, look at that, they sent us some little collar deals. So nice of them. Look at this arrangement right here. Holy cow, guys. This is a lot. And this is some copycatting. They literally have copied some, some industry standard broadheads here. All right, so first one. We have a cricket loose in the shop. This one is, uh, tell me that doesn't look like a G5 M3. Does it not? No, Let's no. actually get one. This looks exactly like a G5 M3. Is what it is. I guess you can you can copycat things if you don't get caught. Let's uh, let's try sharpness. <laughs> Won't even cut the paper. This thing's so dull. This is like butter knife dull. Um, so they, they call it. It's an EX. 125 grain. Wow. So. We'll see how this one this one phases up. Look at this guy. This is the next one in the batch. Um, expandable. Wow, look at those daggers right there. What does this look like? Mm. It's almost like a rage type. Yeah, it's kind of like a rage and a schwacker mix. Mixed, because it has the, the blade still. Looks like a turkey rage in the front. Yes. And then. So this, this is really sharp. <laughs> really, really sharp. Those are also really, really sharp, <laughs> not. Uh, so we'll see. I really don't want to destroy these yet because I want to shoot them and I only have one of each one. That looks like a muzzy. Really dull also. This also has just a hand tighten collar mechanism. Wow, that came apart really easily. This is not enjoyable. Okay, well, I'll deal with that later. Now that that's a part. This guy, what does this guy look like, eh? Good old NAP, let me actually grab one. Like, <laughs> like carbon copy. This is NAP kill zone. Carbon copy. Just wild. Sharpness level, 
Oh, that one might actually be a little bit better. Eh, not really. No, still terrible. This, this looks like a, uh, a Carbon Express had, a, had one like this with the double bleeders. I actually shot it for a little while. <laughs> what a weird head though. There's like screws in it and stuff. Uh, this, this definitely, I, I don't know what the name of it is. It's de I've definitely seen it around, just straight up carbon copy nearly, dull as heck. It, do it is kind of cool how it has bleeders that are sharp, or should be sharp on both sides. They're not sharp right now. This is like a Magnus stinger, right? Like almost to the T. Not sharp at all, but very similar construction. And then this, this is almost like the Allen broadheads, but it looks like a, a G5. This is a hundred grain too. They got a little laser mark of a hundred grain. So we'll see how that phases up. This looks like a QAD almost. QAD Exodus. A little bit different design, but still has those wings and ventilated. Wow. Okay, QED Exodus, knockoff. I don't know what this is. I really haven't seen one like that, but what an interesting spread, guys. I mean, look at this. We got carbon copies of pretty much most of the major broadheads out in the world, which is just wild that company overseas or whatever can just so literally sell a kit. I think this was $20 for all these. And so far they're all pretty much garbage. But what I want to do now is shoot them. And then I want to shoot them at this. I broke, uh, I broke our food plot disc, disker and uh, I found it. And I think it'd be good to try to shoot at it. Okay, so I have these all my victories. We're gonna do a spin test on these and then we're gonna swap them over to some arrows that I'm not gonna be hunting with because there's a good chance they're gonna blow up. So, this is an, just another good test of broadhead quality is the overall. Yeah, not great, not terrible, not bad. I would say like 10 being the best, it's at like an eight. Okay, next is this guy. Okay, that has a good bit of wobble in that one. That's garbage. Like five out of 10, six out of 10. This one is also pretty spinny. Seven out of 10, which makes sense because it's a little smaller, less variance to get bent. All right, this Chinese looking one. Holy cow. That is bad. Yeah, this is the worst one yet. It's literally all over the place. This one I think is just a piece of crap. I think that one's gonna do really bad. The old NAP. Oh wow, that's bad. Can you see that, Riley, if you get close enough? Like. Can you see yeah, it just freaking wobbling? <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Yeah. This might be the new worst one. That one's not too bad. A little wobble, maybe eight out of 10. Definitely wouldn't wanna shoot it, but it would do. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh. <laughs> can you see that? It is so bad. You can just see blur marks around the point because it's just oscillating so bad. Wow. We have our new winner for the worst, worst one. Terrible. Like this one would fly funky because it's that bad. If I had to guess, these aren't gonna be too bad. Ah. That's pretty bad. Probably seven. This cricket needs to shut up. Last one, the M3 looking one. Not bad. That one actually isn't too bad. Now our weak blade ones. These are just big boys. Like, look at that bad boy on an arrow. Yeah, there's a little wobble. Definitely could be worse. There definitely was worse. Not the end of the world. Okay, so let's do a quick quality check of the weight. I can't believe I said quality in the same uh, sentence as these broadheads. These we have 100.2, so they're probably advertised at 100, so those are off. 
Ooh, 121. Let's just land somewhere in the middle between 100 and, and 125. Why not? 128. A little more. You get a little extra bang for your buck on that one. 103. 101. Okay, that's the closest to advertise. 99. A little faster with that one. Ooh. 108. Just totally off. Advertise for 100 grains, and it's 108. 104. 100.6. That's now the closest to advertised. This one's gonna be whacked. <laughs> 92. Yeah, let's just be eight grains off. That's not gonna do anything, right? No. This is gonna get interesting. I think this one's just gonna fold in half because we were able to fold it in half with pliers. Hopefully I don't miss this thing too. We're at about 20 yards. Same like left plate, high plate. Oh, you know why I missed? Cause I was at 70 yards. <laughs> Great, let's do another. Here we go, we got this guy. This was a wobbly boy, one of the more wobbly ones. <laughs> did you see, it did just a somersault in the air. I wonder if we can find that. That's what's left of it. Um, the arrow definitely broke. It was a, a serious arrow. Wow, yeah, nothing left of the broadhead. Great, and we're like five yards from the target, so it flew back this far. There's the arrow. Look at that carbon in there. It's kind of like crushed. Super weird. Bye-bye. That was impact right there. Didn't even do anything. We're gonna move this, uh, we're gonna move this over in the woods though in case we got any more shrapnel. Got all the broadheads on arrows now. We're using just a mixed bag of arrows that we did the vein comparison on. We moved up a little closer. We're in the woods in case there's shrapnel. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be a deal. Let's, uh, let's do this bad boy. And I will say if one of these broadheads even semi survives this, I will be impressed. Cause I don't think they're going to. Did that go up in the trees? I could have swore I heard leaves. Where'd the arrow go? <laughs> Did it just fall down from the tree? Did, or yeah. Something? It had to have, because it was not right here. Okay. This went up in this tree and it just fell down. Absolutely destroyed. Broadhead is nowhere to be found. Another one's dead, I guess. Changing the strat slightly. The, uh, the plow, I think, is a little too hard on these to see them after we shoot them. So we're gonna shoot at a cinder block. Let's try this boy. I think this one's just gonna absolutely just also disintegrate. Quieter. Okay. Well, we actually have something to look at now. Probably wouldn't want to be shooting a deer with that. That's absolutely nasty. What do you say, know. Riley? It still, it still it, got it the still, deer up pretty good. It still worked, right? Out to 100, fly straight. Fail. Since that worked, I think we'll be able to recover these. We're gonna rapid fire these all the way down, and then and then see see who wins. Ooh, that blew up. That one sounded like it blew up too. Here's our very, very cheap one, like toy cheap. That one did something weird. That was soft. All right, final one. I bet this one, I bet this one doesn't do terrible. It might, but probably not. Ooh, might be wrong about that. Okay, one flew all the way back to here. <laughs> Nothing left but a little bit on there. Here is a, oh wow, look at that. That one didn't do that bad at all. I mean, it's it's toast, but at least it didn't blow up. Whatever that one was is, is no longer. It just cracked off. 
and whatever that one is, uh, the arrow unfortunately really, really broke. Well, the tack veins fell off, which is awesome. And, oh, yikes. Yeah, that's the, uh, the really cheap, cheap skinny blade one. Hey, I think my, uh, my prediction was right about this one. This was the M3 looking one. It obviously shoved into the arrow, but it looks it looks pretty well intact. Um, I feel like an arrow bounced weird. Yeah, we had one like somersault over this way. That's pretty nasty. Just bent right over. Here's, <laughs> here's some of those really cheap blades. Just literally bent because they're so thin. Shards of carbon on the ground. Another cheap blade. That looks like a blade from the expandable. Definitely, definitely one of the expandable blades. Well, pretty much all of these were trash. The uh, the ones, the, I mean, these did the best durability wise. Spin wise, they still were not awesome, and you know, dull. They, you know, they're very dull. Not good. Not good at all. All of these uh, cheap. Amazon broadheads I would not recommend to anyone, but it was fun. It was a fun test and uh, we got to blow up some arrows today. Any day you can blow up some arrows is a good day. So don't buy any of these. Uh, they all they all are garbage. Subscribe. See you in the next one.